it's Sarah, and I'm back. I'm going to do a, a moth today. This guy. I'll show you in a second. So, I've been finding some really cool coloring book pages that you can download from your computer. And that's what I've been doing. I'm going to do this one. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it on... Uh, a rectangular shape, a circle, or whatever. Um, you know, I just like this yin yang, so I think I had little circles that I was going to do that. And then these flowers are very similar to the other piece that I did. I just love it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing that. Then I found this wreath, and I thought it's upside down for me. Mm, Freecoloring.com. So I, ha I have a candy in my mouth. I think I want to write like faith, peace, love inside there. I'm not sure, but it's just um, another because I have plenty of circles on hand. I already did this one. It's up on the um, wall. Here's my moth. So I'm yelling. I'm sorry. I was looking through. I don't do um, Instagram, okay, but I did download the app, and I was just looking through there for like plant decor like how people display their plants and different things because for the boho room right and this is just like a zoomed in version of it but this moth was on the wall in someone's room and I said OMG that's gorgeous so I looked for a, a pattern that was close I mean it's not identical it's very it's actually quite different I mean if you look but the brown, gold, and white that I usually do when I paint my mandalas, I thought I could use. So I just went and found this. I also looked on the Glowforge to see if there was a moth outline. And it's so hot back there. Like, it's really hot today. Let's see. It's, it says 90 on my watch thing. But look how gorgeous. So these were just some last night when I was looking. Like... I could just get this outline and then I could design my own bugs, you know. But look, this is an actual moth in nature. Look how fuzzy. So I burned them. I'll, I'll show you that in a sec. This is another one. I guess this is, it says silk moth. I think that's an actual moth. And then they have these like feathery looking antennas. OMG. Okay. Look at this one has a little bit more pinks in it. And then, like, so I just looked through. So I was at Home Goods today. And I found, like, I see, but I didn't get anything. I just get ideas. I really wanted this, but I didn't get it. Because I have, I wanted to use what I had. This was something I saw at Hobby Lobby. And it's a stool, actually. $44. So, see, it has these metal legs on it. I didn't get it, but I think I could cut a mandala like that and just make a little, it's not a stool, but like a plant, maybe a plant stool, you know. So anyway, so here's my moth. Mm, this is the smaller version because I also have a bigger version. This is a little guy too that I really like this one because it's kind of like a mandala pattern, you know, not, not realistic. This is just, I'm going to do this on a round, on a mandala. It says, Sania McArdle. Mm. Anyway, because I, I like doing colorful mandalas too. So that's just what I pulled today. And then this is my big moth. But I decided, so I went to Walmart earlier. Mm. And I had burned this sun the other day. So I'm going to be painting, I'm going to paint this one with color, but this one I'm just going to paint with the brown, gold, and white. And I cut this out myself on the um, bandsaw, which it's like, it's a little, you know, I try to kind of keep the edges fluffy in a way, but I cut off some of it. Um, you know, it turned out pretty good. So we'll see. Uh, but I just used one of these. I got this at Walmart. It was probably like around $1.50. A plaque by plaid. And I meant to save. Like I should have just cut this off. Because I could have used that for something else. But I chopped it up. Um, actually, nah. He didn't fit. And then I also found these. Which I love. I'm going to open this. I think this was around $5. But still, for three pieces. 
And when you're wood burning, you kind of want it to be, Baltic birch is ideal for me, that's my favorite. You get a lot of pine, and you just have to be careful of the resin that's in the pine. But look at that, that's gorge. And they're already like little framed things, like they're not just flat. And I was thinking I could connect them this way, like going down the wall that way, which would be cool. Um, and just put mandalas on them. We'll see, but, and I'm thinking for the Zen Den, because I have another thing on the wall right now. I'll show you that. I'll update you on that at another time. So for today, I'm going to paint this little guy. And I am going to reference this, um, the one that I got from the uh, this one. I'm going to reference this one because I just love that one and the way it had the lights and darks. Mm, it's very different. But um, So I'll be right back. i got to get my paints. Okay, so I have a couple of fans on. Like I said, it's like 90 degrees, but it feels pretty good in here. We didn't put the air on, so I just want to see if I can get stay in the shot. I'll move this stuff out of the way. So I'm going to start with... <sighs> see, on here, it has this really nice dark band going across. And so I don't know. Like, I have... This is... I'm just winging it. It's not going to be the same at all. Um, first thing I should do is just go right down the body. And I'm just using a number 3 eighths inch angle brush. That's what I like to float with. I use a floating technique to get my um, shading on there. And excuse my nails. They are starting to grow a little bit, but they're still really bad. They just won't grow. Um, don't know what it is. All right. So I'm just going to go right up against his body, put some color there, and yeah, I had fun kind of making the little hairy strokes with the burner, the fuzzy parts. I'll go under his head here, and um, I kind of... I think I want to make this dark, but it doesn't really make sense because I burned that. Um, I think I'm going to change it and make this dark and make that light. Yeah, I think I'm going to make this dark. I can just pity pat this on. And I've already, um, I sprayed, um, let's see, the top is different. This wing, I'm going to do the same thing on both sides. But I, I take it out and I do it with an acrylic sealer. So that when I put paint on here, it doesn't just sink right into the wood. Because wood is a porous surface. And then I give it a gentle sanding, just so that it gets real smooth. Um, yep, all the way over. And, um, see already, it's, oh, it's starting to come to life. Man, I'm excited. All right. So I think I'm going to do here two. And I'm going to make the next row light buttermilk. Ah, I could still use gold. I don't want to forget about my gold. Uh-oh, my picture. And probably like... Yeah, this is completely different. See how these wings are pointing down? And these are going up, so... Um, I'm just going to take what I like and do my best. I could put white in here, but I need brown. Probably I've also cut myself lately like I just I'm so rough look I cut myself with scissors there when I was cutting something I just cut right into my finger duh um other side the same and um you know YouTube is a very, it closes up on my hands, so I was really loving putting those fake nails on and um, 
I just love the way my hands look too, but I gotta let it grow, try to grow. All right, I guess I could go down here, but I wanna keep it white around there. Hmm. body. I got to do between the wings. So in other words, one wing is kind of sitting on top of the other. So I'm going to go here. I actually have some soft black too. And I'll go back with a real light uh, to really separate the wings and from the body and the wings from each other at the end. But I just want to put a bigger right there. And it already is starting to kind of look cool. Um, I mean, I'm going to just also reference the actual picture. I don't think there were any, uh, no, there's no shading. But it's just kind of, it's not exactly, my wood burning is not exactly. Mm. See, like, I filled in this little part, and I could have made that white or gold, you know. I filled it in with my burner. So, on here, it's not, uh, see, look, I'll show you. There is a space between the lines, but I ended up filling it in. Um, which, that would have been a cool place to put, like, a, a gold line or something. So I am going to go along the body and kind of give it that rounded effect. So down the side and the other side. I'll leave it, let that dry first. I think I want to go to the outside of the wings too. I don't have enough water in my brush. Um, if you're curious of how I'm doing this, I have lots of videos where I give a real good detailed description of it. Um, probably under the heading floating technique. Um, I'm gonna just do my own thing. I'm gonna wing it, cause it's not like the picture, so it's really kind of silly for me to follow the picture. It's just not the same, so I will wing it. Anywho, um, I'm a beginner wood burner. I mean, I've been doing it now for a while, but I've not uh, kind of broadened my <laughs> skill level. I've only kept it at uh, basically getting the outlines and then I've been using paint to get my high, my darks and lights. So I'm kind of liking that. I'm going to put some here because it is, it's looking like it's my own style, which it's not. I mean it's been done before. Um, Sticks Furniture. There's a place called Sticks Furniture. I don't know where it's from, but that is coming to mind. Anyway, they did it. I saw them do it, and they paint a little differently than me. They paint wet on wet like it's uh, old school or more like an oil paint style technique rather than just floating like I do, but um, that that's what gave me the idea of adding paint to my wood burning project. So I kind of stopped learning how to shade and just started adding color to my pieces with this, this technique. Um, so right here I'm going to add some gold and then I'm going to add some white. Let's get the, actually it's not white, I'm, I'm using light ivory because I just wanted to it, it'll look white enough. Um, I think I want to do 
on the other side of the bug body. And I'll highlight down the middle of his body to make him. Uh, I'm also going, I'm going to use, I can use soft black on his things. Um, I think I'm going to put some light buttermilk. here along this little ridge. And because he's a bug and he's furry, I can be really chippy choppy with my strokes and it, it almost helps it, you know. I'm going to put some here as well. I really just want it dark up against that line. I didn't have enough water. If you don't have water in your brush, the paint won't slide. It's almost impossible. So that kind of, see, it just makes that little area, I got to put it somewhere else. Let's think. I think I'm going to put gold here, but I think I'm going to put the light buttermilk here. And I'm... Like I, I said, I'm just kind of, I'm getting a Q-tip. I'm just kind of letting my hand wiggle and not really care if it, oops, I don't want to get it on where I burned. I mean, I care, but I want it to look loose. Maybe fuzzy, you know? Boy, I'm a mess. I don't like that. Hold on. I got it on all the dark burning I did. So I just wet a Q-tip and kind of, you can take it off. So let me see if I even like that. I do, and I think I'd rather do it with like a round brush and kind of wash it in there. Like, so in other words, I'm going to make a like a watery, waterier version of that white and just paint it in instead of float it. So over here, whoop, it's, whoop, I think I'm on two cups of coffee. I think it's, Sarah's got a little shaking going on, a whole lot of shaking going on. This is a wash. It looks dark at the moment, but it's mostly water and a little bit of pigment that's the idea and so as it dries it will dry less opaque boy Sarah you are really messy today this is looking messy but I like that I think that looks good so I'm just going to come back and add it on the other side um do something called a flip float. So I'm going to go down. I'm just going to pre-wet the scent, this, the whole bug and then I'm going to load my brush with the light buttermilk and I'm going to put some on this side and then I'm going to flip it and put some on this side. That's a lot. And just kind of it should dry. I don't really want it on those burned areas as much. But that gave them a little highlight in the middle. Um, I'm being really, really fast and like sloppy. Don't exactly know why. 
Um, this side, I put the white, the light buttermilk. I gotta do it on this side. Just trying to make sure I do whatever I do on one side, I do on the other. Um, right here. I don't know if I love that. Um, I want to add some gold. I think I'm going to make the little use like a number one round or something. Hold on, hold on. This is. Do this. I'm gonna do it gold. So it's my own little version of a moth. We yeah, actually, I have a picture of a moth that was on my front porch. I have an, like a, it's not enclosed porch, but it has a, it's a porch. It has a roof, and there was just a moth up on top of that roof. And it was big. It wasn't this big, but it was big. And it was pretty. It had real pretty markings. Yeah. I'm not afraid of critters. I, I actually, you know, I don't chase them away or anything. I mean, you know, certain critters you don't need all up in your living space. But if I'm outdoors, I consider that their terrain. Well, all of ours, right? Anyway, um, so my, the Zen Den is coming along. I was at Home Goods. I had to stop at Home Goods on the way home too because I just had to go take a look. But, um, I don't need anything because I have, I'm using what I have and I, you know, I took pictures and I, I think about it, but I really didn't need it. You know, $30 here, $30 there, it's a lot. So, um, trying not to indulge and using what I have. So yeah, I've been moving things around still. Um, I, today I took something, I took a cabinet from my bathroom. I think I'm going to use it in my craft room. Um, it's white, and um, anyway, so I'm still, where did that go? I do not know where I just painted that. I know I'll see it in the video, because I did both sides of that, both sides of that. Should I put white here? And then I'll put gold here. Yeah, let me put gold here. I'm just filling this in. I'm not really filling, I'm patting, you know, tapping it in. Because it's like fuzzy. Sorta. So I'm going to tap it in. And one of these two lines should be gold, so I'll do this one. Ooh. Just figured I'd turn on the camera. I'm in here. It's too hot out. I was trying to go do stuff, but it's just really hot, like I said. Well, it's down to 88 now, so because it's 4 o'clock, 
That's looking pretty. Something needs gold. You know what? It's going to be his little antenna. I should put some gold on his body too. Where else? I think that looks good. Um, I need some white. I'm going to do another white or light, light buttermilk. Washy. Very watery. In this space, jiggly. It was fun doing all those little hairs. It wasn't as, you know, it wasn't very hard. Oops. <sighs> At all, really, to do. This brush doesn't really have a good tip on it. I'm going to switch back to this one. Has a little bit of a flatter tip. That other one had a like a pointier. Just adding more water to the like buttermilk it got kind of like I said I have fans on and that'll definitely dry out your paint. Um, but it feels good. I'm pretty comfortable. It's not too hot. Um, because I am not ready for hotness yet. No, 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 no. May. It's going to be May. Friday is April 30th. Oops, that was way too watery. Sorry, y'all. Um, yeah, and we're finally getting our other couch delivered. The couch that we ordered in, like, February, March. Um... So that'll be here Friday. Um, and then it'll be May. It's crazy. And I think I'm going to highlight. I have to. Ooh, but this little guy need, maybe needs white. Ooh, I don't know. Kind of want to float white. Ooh, I don't know. I'm getting, I'm getting to the end. I think it's too, too bright here. But on the other one, it really had a white going around that. Um, of course, it's a different moth. But I'm going to attempt to put some like. White like that. I don't know. What the heck? I need more. It'll show up when I add more brown. And then I, like I said, I am going to put soft black, which it's kind of like a brownish black. It's a really cool color. But I, I, uh, I'm going to put it here. keep going over my wood burning. Alright, that looks good. I like that. It's weird because I did not notice that I burned these so, such different sizes. This one's way thicker. Not really floating it. I should probably just paint it in. Um, we're getting somewhere. It's still not as pretty as that one that I saw on Pinterest, but it's cute. Um, oh, I want to go around these. So. I did those two.
uh, 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 uh. Soft black time. Because I think I did everything I need to do. I think I'm going to do a little burnt umber. Ooh. I way overloaded my brush. That means I got paint all the way across it, but I still need just water. So I'm going to go down here. Guys, is anyone watching Mayor of Easttown? It's on HBO on Sunday nights. It's really good. We like it. It's two, I think it's a mini series type situation where there's only a few episodes, but it's Kate Winslet and it's really good. We're really liking it. Um, I think I'm going to go dark here. We're also watching Big Sky. That was on last night, Tuesday nights at 10. It's a little different. It's two women detectives in like a kind of a rural place. I'm not sure where they live. Maybe Texas? I forget. But it's kind of rural like farms and cowboy boots and stuff. This doesn't look furry enough. But alright, I'm going to break out the soft black and this. I'm hot. It, I'm just going to point this at myself. And, all right, good to go. Just try to keep this narrow. I don't want it to walk out too far, so I'm going to try and keep it narrow. And that just means I don't want it to go across my brush too far. So just keep it real dark at the tip. And I'm going to go down his little body. Kind of ran out of water. I don't know why I'm calling him a him. It could be a her. I don't know much about moth, moth type stuff. I'm going to shade across the little antennas. Kind of set them down on his head. I'm going to go under his neck, on his neck, under his head. And then I'm going to go across here. I'm going to let that dry for a minute. Now, are there any really dark areas I want to really pop out? Mm, I never did anything right here. I did white here, or light buttermilk here, but I didn't do anything here. Um, I don't want to do soft black. I'm going to do brown. Uh... But we've been watching Dexter. Um, my husband watched Dexter back when it was on, like, because the series has been over for a long time. And I never watched it. And so we're, st I'm starting to revisit things that I never watched that, like, you know, people liked. Like, I, I'm not going to watch Mad Men because I don't, my dad was an alcoholic and I, it's just that time and the salesman stuff and the drinking, I can't. It's too, I don't like that genre. Anyway, <laughs> that being said, uh, Dexter is a serial killer, but he's a sociopath. It's just very interesting. It's like thinking about human nature and how our brains work and why is he a sociopath. And if we are actually, it's nature versus nurture and all that stuff, like if he could be taught to not be a sociopath. And that's kind of the first season's thing is his, his stepdad, no, it's not his stepdad, it's his adoptive dad tries to teach him how to not act on his impulses and it's a very interesting thing uh, I don't know I'm just finding it fascinating so I'm really loving that we're only on the first season um, so that's what we've been doing TV wise because I'm stopping now with my the Zen Den. Ooh, I didn't tell you guys. I put 
so we we got our canopy for the um, outside we have like a outside deck so it's like we, we have a canopy like a gazebo canopy and we put that on and we opened up the furniture and all that because we had I, I have a video of my um, outdoor furniture that I got anyway I took the couch from that and I brought it into my Zen Den so I think I'll show you later I'll show you what it looks like it's really cool I'm just gonna fill in some areas with some soft black I don't know if that needed it but I lost something with the little guy here um, this Anyway, and it's just because no one's really sitting out there right now. And I wanted to see what it would be like in my Zen Den. And I really like it, actually. I'm still waiting for my, um, well, not mine. It's not mine yet. But the uh, Ikea couch that I want, that I kind of have my heart set on, that I've sat on, and I know it will be perfect. And anyway, um, until then, I'm just I've been sitting on my outdoor furniture, which is so cool because it's actually gray. Babe, I'm filming. All right. Anyway, um, yeah, so it's very cool. I'm going to show you it. I'll show you it. Because it's like a wicker, but it's the plastic wicker. And it's, it is uh, grayish. It's got a grayish patina to it because all the stuff that I bought like the rug and all that is um, let's see if that looks I don't know I lost I lost the highlight you know what I'll do is I'll just um, I'll do it again I'll, I'll probably dry brush it I think it looks cute though I put white there I put white here I put brown there Let's see if he's done. I, I'm pretty happy. I think he's done. Um, I have enough. You know what I'll do? I'm just going to do a gentle floating of light buttermilk. Wait, my paint is drying. Like here, a little bit here. Maybe just in the center, you know, like there. And that'll make it look highlighted. That made it look highlighted. I don't really know that it needs much more, right? I mean, what else? What more does it need? That's, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, over here. So, the sun that I burned, I'm going to do color for that because I want to be able to pull some, I don't want my Zen Den to be all kind of, like, um, you know what I mean, um, monotone colors or whatever. So where is he, my little, this guy. I think I'm going to do him red, orange, yellow. Um, but I think this one might be done. I feel like he's he's kind of cute uh oh son of a gun son of a son of a gun it's because I I went up against the center and any of the burning that I lost like I'll go over it with the brown uh oh look at this right here I didn't put gold here Look, there's gold on both sides. On this side, I didn't make a space. I'm going to put gold there. I'm going to put gold there. I could probably put a little shine here. Doesn't look the same, but... Yeah, like right here... I lost a lot of the I need more burn umber. Um where was it? Right here. 
You see this? Like right here specifically. I'm going to come in and let you see. I painted over it, so I'm just going to paint it back in with a brown. That's a shame because I was really proud of my little um, hairs. There's some hairs here. But I was very sloppy painter today. Very, very sloppy. I tried to cut when I cut the outside edge to like leave some of the um, like hairy look to the outside edge. Um, I don't know if I lost any that bad on this side. So like right here, the all these little hairs look pretty good. Right here, it's a little light. Let's see. So yeah, I'm thinking about Dexter because I'm gonna read a good episode where it like there was a big dun dun dun, you know, where you find something out. <laughs> and so it's fun when you can binge stuff. Like when you I can watch it. I don't have to wait. Like Big Sky is only on Tuesday night, so I gotta wait for that. And so is Mayor of East East. East Town, I think it's called East Town. Um, it's on Sunday night, so I uh, gotta wait. But Dexter, I can binge. So right here, yeah, I think he, I'm gonna call him done because I don't need to keep pity pat. And I think once he's on the wall, oopsie, he's gonna look cool. Let me come up and just take a look. But you can see how messy this is because I added that gold. I didn't need to. Um, I like him. I think he turned out cool. See right here, it's just where I cut it. You can see there's like a little bump right there. I should have cut it off. Um, all right, I'm done. I think I'm going to add a hanger, and I'm going to put gold. So let me show you what I have. This is a gold leafing pen. Just shake it. By Krylon, so it's a paint pen. Oh, Tracy Moreau uses these a lot, and um, it is very convenient. I mean, I have gold paint, so I can just do it with the gold paint, but... You can also just take this and go around the edges. See that? I need to get the paint to come out a little. Oop, there it is. Oop, there it is. Look at that. Nice and juicy. I think it would have looked nice with the brown too, but... I like the gold. So that's it, you guys. I'll be back and show you what I what the furniture looks like in there. I like it for now, for till my couch comes, or till summer comes. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching.